A do-rag, sometimes called a silky, wave cap, or tie-down, is simply a piece of cloth with tails. And an addy dude. The name, be it do-rag or do-rag, is a rag to protect your hairdo, or was before it became a famous headscarf. The modern do-rag is a hair covering with a long history. Originally worn by field workers in southern plantations, in the 1990s, it became the signature look of hip-hop culture. From there, it was quickly embraced by African-American men in professional sports and entertainment. These stars are the style leaders in the culture, and soon every bro in and out of the hood was sporting a do-rag. Not to be left out, the ladies took to the all-purpose do-rag too. It went mainstream in 2020 when Rihanna wore a do-rag on the cover of Vogue. If you don't know who she is, stop reading right now. There's no hope for you. The purpose, and yes, there is one, of a do-rag is to protect your hard-earned hairstyle while you sleep. More on style later. For now, let's focus on our very own do-rags. Sewn from the smoothest, silky, softest microfibers, you'll hardly know it's there, if not for the eyeballs and compliments as you cruise the streets. How to tie a do-rag. Also called a wave cap because it's worn to protect your wave, a hairstyle created by brushing the hair in waves from the crown. A do-rag preserves the brushing while you sleep, and it also works for cornrows. The subject at hand are these soft do-rags you ordered on the internet. You open up the package and slide one out. Say what? It looks like a shower cap with long, long flat strings. Now that you know what it's for, let's get to it. First off, turn it inside out so the center seam is on the outside. If you don't, it will put a line through your hair. That defeats the purpose of all that brushing. Now that it's on your head, it's time to tie those flaps. Grab the flaps on either side of your head and pull them back. Make sure you keep them flat so they don't get knotty. Cross the flaps at the back of your head and bring them around to the front. A mirror could help you with this in the beginning. Later, you will be able to tie your do-rag as easily as tying your shoes. Those flaps or strings are like shoelaces. And if you can tie a bow, you can wear a do-rag. Cross them again in the front. Keep the strings flat and once more, take them to the back of your head. That's where you will tie it, like a shoe. And you're lit. How to put on a do-rag. You work hard, spend a lot of time styling your hair. So you don't want to lose all that effort when your head hits the pillow. You could just wear a shower cap to bed, but if you do, then be ready to wake up with a sweaty head. Grab a selection of our do-rags instead. 12 is four times better than three. Don't be cheating your waves. Put on a fresh one every morning for daytime and another one at night for preservation. Our microfiber do-rags are breathable and easy to hand wash in the sink. Another way to put on a do-rag is to pull the front down over your eyes to your nose, then fold it up to your forehead. This will give your hair the compression it needs. Smooth the flaps, tie it tight. Keep in mind you want compression to keep your hair pressed down, to keep all those hard-earned waves in place day and night. When you're ready for the red carpet moment in the spotlight and you take your do-rag off, the do is perfect, be it 180, 360, or a half moon with waves. Eyes and flesh bulbs will pop. What does a do-rag do? Your do, as in hairdo, needs a do-rag to do its thing so you can do yours. We've touched on waves and how a do-rag worn day and night can keep those hours of brushing, greasing, and shampooing looking fly. You can't afford to take two steps forward, then one step back. If you aren't into cornrows instead, you still need to wear a do-rag at night to keep those braids tight. Nobody wants to see a field of corn with the rows wandering every which way. All that work, and then you have to plow it up and start over because you forgot to wear your do-rag to sleep. The same holds true for an old school afro. All that pickin' needs protected. Nobody wants their hair to suffer from friction, frizz, or flyaways. You need protection between you and your pillow. Hair and cotton will battle all night. Cotton fibers latch onto your hair, and in the morning, you will see dead soldiers laying on the battlefield. A satin or silk pillow slip helps, but for the best protection, also wear a do-rag. You only keep your hair out when you're doing the social scene. 
when it is time to see and be seen. Otherwise, day and night, you keep it tight. Preservation is the answer to what does a do-rag do. Like bling, it only does its thing when you are out and about. Just chilling around the house, wear the do-rag to protect all that time and money you spend in the salon. Or if lucky, the work put in by your lady. How to wear a do-rag. There's no right way to wear a do-rag or tie it. Some people tie the strings to the side, some leave the cape out, some tuck the cape in, some leave the strings untied and the cape out, with the do-rag sitting loosely over their head. Rihanna inspired people to wear do-rags for fashion. Not even tied right, but just to fit in with the culture. When you're famous, you can do what you want, and others will copy it. The rapper Memphis Bleak wore his untied under a fitted baseball cap. Jay-Z used to wear his with the strings tied to the back. Cameron wore his strings tied to the back but laid flat on his forehead to avoid leaving the marks when he removed it. Will you get checked out when you're out and about rocking your do-rag with the cape out? It is possible. Someone said it's a Superman cape. Get a do-rag in every color so you're always stylish. Check out the large selection of do-rags available in many colors at bandanaswholesale.com. We ship fast for everyday low prices. Like, subscribe, comment.